We are the Deglas. My name is Wade. I'm Christina. Aiden. Lucas. Nathan. Madeline. I feel like we both grew up in a Christian education. I'm from, from my parents and your parents, my grandparents, your grandparents. Uh, we've always been in the faith and that that's it first starts if that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to go to church. You're supposed to do this. Um, but the more you learn about uh, the ministry, the more it, it, it's a, you know, it's a, something that you want to do and you want to get um, more into Christ. So I haven't known anything else besides Lutheran education. And the biggest thing I was taught was you need to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And no one else is going to teach you that besides your parents and your Sunday school teachers and your pastors. And if you're sent to a Lutheran school, that's what they teach you. And that's where you start is we have to start them young. And when you start them young, then they just grow into knowing that church is a routine. And I hope our kids are learning the foundation needed uh, for the, the real world coming out. When they when they get older, when they, they, they get away from our home kind of thing, I just hope uh, they have the tools in their tool belt to, uh, to proclaim Christ to other people. And I think that ties in with our talk about leaving a legacy. What type of a legacy do we want to leave for our kids? And for me, my biggest legacy for them is to know that they know God and that they know how to pursue him. And I know St. John's teaches our kids to know God, and I can see that they are teaching them how to actively pursue God. I always remember going to church every Sunday and my parents writing out their check and putting it in the envelope and the offering, offering plate being passed and every kid got an opportunity to put your offering into the plate and sometimes, you know, mom and dad would give you a quarter and you get to stick that in. And, and just rem reminding myself that even though if I don't have a lot to give um, or if we have a lot to give, that we always give God our best. And that always reminds us of our passage from Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9, which says, Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of your crops. So whatever we bring in, whatever the Lord's blessing us with, we give that top tenth back to him because he deserves it first. Leaving a legacy is something that takes time over the, over the decades, over the years, giving to your kids or what you've given to the church. It's, it's not just something that you, you do at the end of, uh, of your life. You gotta think of long term now. And in order to do that, you gotta start early um, in our marriage. You know, it's like, what are we gonna prioritize in our marriage? What are we gonna prioritize um, with our faith kind of thing? And um, the earlier you do that, the more you do it, choose now, choose this year, not, not next year, not future, um, the better legacy you're gonna have. Because um, you, you can always change the future, you, you can't change the past kind of thing. So, you know, starting with today or starting with this month or starting with something that can say, hey, we're going to start at this spot and hopefully we'll build up, whether it's financially, whether it's your giving, whether it's your time to the church. Um, and I think that will over time will, will show your legacy um, to the people around you. The hope is that you've given enough tools um, to your kids. and. <laughs> Uh, that they can have just as good um, as a living that what we had, or better than what mm -hmm. we had as a kid, um, is what I hope for uh, as they're going out through St. John's high school, college, and um, that's just play is something that you know I've done. That hopefully I've done a good enough job. We have done enough uh, job that our kids will will live towards the Lord.